how is it on the road? I mean, is it? Do you 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 have to love it and hate, I don't know. I wouldn't say hate it, but it's is it a love hate relationship? Well, in 2014, it is different now that I have a kid. I will say that Neil's yeah. got a little baby girl too, um, but we love it because we've always done it. And there's something about the, th- the three of us. And when we leave the bus and hit the stage, it's, there's a, there's a, a fire that you don't really get in a lot of other things you do. You know, I could probably uh, relate it to like, or compare it to like a football game or, you know, yeah. or like a, yeah. you're going on stage or like a wrestling match, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah. Coming <laughs> to the ring. <laughs> yeah. Pretty, pretty much. And then you get, you kind of get into that whole world and it's, it's a lot of fun. I think, in 2014 when we got out of the um the vans and everything and pretty much decided we were going to be on a bus all the time that was a little easier on us so it it changed uh travel that's what makes that whole thing so hard a lot of times is the is if you're you know you're you're traveling hard like a lot of dates and you're having to do all the work you know you're not getting good night's sleep stuff like that so i mean it's like we don't go anywhere without the bus we have buses and the UK and Europe and everything as well. And it's like, it's, it made it, that's, that's when you kind of, we all kind of looked around each other and we we're like, all right, we can do this. You know what I mean? So <laughs> it's, it's, the road's a lot of fun. And we, you know, we've got a studio on the back of our bus here in the States. And so I work a lot on the road too, because you're, you get to the venue that morning, you travel overnight and you have all day to do whatever. I usually find a Mexican restaurant, usually <laughs> uh, write a song, get a nap, Go for a yeah. run, whatever. You know what I mean? So it's 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 a lot of fun, man. That's cool. The uh I guess once it's in your blood, and I, I could you know certainly see I played sports. I I don't know that it was ever at the level that was, you know, coming out to thousands of fans screaming, but it was high enough to, to get the the juices going to, to kind of see what that buzz was. But I mean, I gotta ask you this question. I've always wondered this, and I've had other artists on, I've never asked. What percent <laughs> You can answer this for her, for yourself or for others. <laughs> like, how many people are drinking the entire night they play? Like, are, they, are most of these guys, are, are you drinking every night playing? Like, are most artists? Yeah, I'm I, drinking now, man. I know. I mean, me too. I just finished my beer. But, like, <laughs> you know, like, is it, is that, that's just part of it, right? I mean, like, yeah. that's just the lifestyle. I'll give, the, I'll, give you, I'll give you a night's rundown. All right. It'll I be, wanna, I want it. You know, we, we play. Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and usually home 9 a.m. Sunday morning, right? Leave yeah. Wednesday night at midnight uh, on the bus. And then I would say, you know, if we go on at 9, let's say 9.15, all right? <laughs> <laughs> at 8.15 on the dot, me, this is just my own thing. Your ritual. Red Bull, Tito's and Red Bull vodka, or Tito's and Red Bull. I have one of those, see how I'm feeling. Then I make a tall one for the stage <laughs> nice and choice. we go on and you're fired up because Red Bull gives you wings. Yep. And, um, <laughs> and, and the vodka makes you not make, makes you not talk about, or makes you not overthink the lyrics. So you don't forget that stuff. So it's <laughs> yeah. a nice combo. It's a good combo. And then, yeah. And then, uh, my tour manager makes me one halfway through the show and then we get done. We just sit around and drink beer and talk about what we did right or what we did wrong. And, but yeah, I would say, you know, there's people like, like, you know, Dirks will probably have like one beer, Okay. If, if anything, when he goes on, he used to drink a little bit more, but like Eric's the whiskey guy, you know, Keith's yeah. sober. So Keith doesn't drink yep. anything on there and he puts on a hell of a show. So I think it's a little different for everybody. And obviously that, that whole situation changes the older you get, I would imagine. But, um, <laughs> yep. but yeah, man, it's, yeah, it's usually a pretty, pretty rowdy situation for the, the, the whole, you know, time you're out. Hey man, the Cadillac three. I mean, the whole vibe, dude. You got it's like I'd almost been disappointed if you hadn't told me that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I kind of assumed, and the Red Bull thing. I can I can relate to keep your energy up, but yet the vodka. You know, it was my drink of choice. You know, when I was single. You know, yeah, like, yeah. You were jacked. You know, a little jacked up, but the but the alcohol kind of mellowed it out, so you uh, had it all together. You know, yeah. It's probably not the best thing for my my. Uh, my parental unit but it's yeah <laughs> you know. it is what it is hey guys thanks so much for watching the video don't forget to like share and subscribe and of course check out one of these other clips for all the latest tips and insights we'll see you next time